I remember at 19 years old, I'm making calls out of a phone book for a veteran agent to start my career, right? I'm in college playing basketball, 18, 19 years old, calling legit a actual phone book. It was illegal and I didn't even know any better, right? An actual phone book. I was awful. I was so bad. But guess what? Four months later, I wasn't as bad as I used to be. What's that? That's resilience. That's even consistency too, right? That's even routine, right? That's, that's all of it. That's, I, I, that's, it's 100% within my control. And right now, I know that for each and every one of you, this whole SLS success thing is 100% within your control. There's no doubt in my mind. It is 100% within your control, right? Dude, I just, anybody else just smile when James is in the room, you know? He's always happy, man. I freaking love James. He's so awesome. There you go. Ah, so, dude, he, yeah, he's the most caffeinated person I know. That's like, we were talking about the most successful person. He's the most caffeinated person I know, okay? So, wh why, why insurance? We're talking about success, right? Why insurance? Oh, thank you. Wh why insurance? It's a need, it's necessary, it's, it is never going away. Yep, and guess what, guess what? When this whole C thing happened, right? I'm trying not to say the word. Guess what? It didn't affect insurance. It did in a positive way. That's right, it actually got better. Every organization I'm a part of that has the framework that you guys have went up. They sold more. So, right, it ain't going away, right? And no matter what happens, it ain't going away. What else? Why, why would you want to be a part of this career? Help people? There we go. Yes, absolutely. Residual income. I love that. Because you can really, you can really work it however you want. Like you can, you can, you know, if you want to just have it be, treat it like a job and work nine to four, nine to five, whatever it is, and, and then you can. Or if you want to, you know, go crazy with it and scale it up, then you can do that too. You know, it's really there's really a fit a place for everybody. You know, if you want to, if you're a parent, you got young kids, you want to, you know, be home for four or five, make them dinner and be at the soccer games. You can do that. Or, you know, if you're younger person and you don't have those responsibilities and you want to crush it every day and try to build an empire for yourself you can do that too so it's you know there's there's so many different different reasons why why you'd want to do it you can make money fast the system here is that like people, a lot of new agents don't realize that a lot of life insurance systems like agents are lucky to get a sale in their first month like, mm. like a lot of life insurance places that that don't have the investment into the agents like we do um, agents are lucky to get a sale in their first month. That's not like grandma, grandpa, or auntie Jane, who's, who's loaded, you know? So there, there's, there's so many different reasons. That's really mainly what, what I can think of from my experience. Dude, JVE just got me jacked up about selling insurance, man. It's something I can believe in. That's totally happening now. <laughs> Is that not a thing here? <laughs> JVE, come on, Justin by Mike. Okay, okay. Hey, dude, thank you, Justin. That's good, buddy. That's awesome. So, oh, dude, come on now. Come on. Trips. Yes. Dude, why didn't you freaking tell me, bro? I got to check out your stories more, I guess. That's my fault. Yeah, for real. Okay, so let's, so, success habits. This is a random whiteboard exercise. That I, I don't know. What do you think? Is this good or is this good? Okay, good. And when you're selling, right? You don't give a bad option. Is it great, Miss Betty, or do you think it's good or really good? You know. Uh, okay, so insurance is that assumptive selling or is that assumptive selling? Insurance. Everybody needs it. And it's necessary. True or false? True. It's is it is never going away. How amazing is that? I can't say it about anything else. Right. Legacy. Guess what? For those that don't know and you're new, there are more millionaires 
in what industry than any other industry on planet Earth? Insurance and financial services. Maybe you're in a good vehicle. I don't know. Okay. All right. Maybe you can help people and you actually can help people, right? It's, it's, it does something to you when you can actually deliver and be a part of a family accepting a check with the loss of a loved one so they don't have to pass the hat at the funeral, right? There's something special about that, right? That's actually helping people. If you're doing something good, right? You're not just helping them buy their first home. Like, oh, that's sort of helping, right? This is really helping, okay? Residual income. Paid forever. That sucks too, okay? Is that good or is that good? Y'all with me still? Come on now. All right. JVE, freedom, your own boss, right? Freedom. Did I say it? Freedom. Yeah. Freedom. Okay. Yeah. Fit for anyone. Anyone can make six figures, quarter million bucks, drive Aston Martins and sell insurance, right? Do freaking anybody. Okay. But you can literally build your own empire, just like the TV show Empire. You can. You can. Trips and bonuses, a little extra bonus, right? That's nice. That's nice. Okay. So look at this. Look at this. Say this with me. What's this one? I didn't hear everyone. If you love me, you'll participate. What is it again? Okay, good. If you love Grant and James, you'll participate even more. Okay. All right. And if you love yourself, you'll really participate. Okay. So writing goals. If I write down my goals, what do I get? Um, legacy. Results. I get to help people. Residual income. I get to be my own boss. I get to build an empire, and I get trips and bonuses. And, oh, freedom. Okay, right? <laughs> True or false? True. So who's going to start writing down your goals every day? Because you – show hands real quick. And if you don't, guess what you're saying? I don't actually want to be successful that bad. I just kind of want it, right? Okay, now next. I'm, gonna, I'm like not listening to my feelings and emotions, right? What is this? What is it again? Let me hear you say it. Not listening to feelings, right? Come on, Ronald, say it with me. Not listening to your feelings. Okay, there we go, okay. So if we don't listen to our feelings, we get to leave a legacy, make a freaking crap ton of money, help people, drive Aston Martins, get residual income, freedom, be our own boss, build an empire, and, and, and go on trips and bonuses around the world, right? Okay, so show of hands. Who's not going to listen to your feelings anymore? And emotions, right? When, 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 oh, keep your hands up, actually, real quick. Keep, keep them up, keep them up. We're going to test your, your, your shoulder endurance. All right, so <laughs> All right. when you wake up in the morning, it's 7.50, which doesn't mean you're an early riser, by the way. But, and you're like, I don't want to get out of bed yet. Keep your hand up if you're actually going to get out of bed when you don't want to. Okay, and Zoom, I'm, watching, I'm looking at you guys too, okay? Don't, don't, be, don't be slacking on me. 6.50, 5.50, whatever, right? We got to start somewhere, okay? All right, and okay, when, when somebody hangs up on you and you're like, I, gosh, I, I just want to jump through the phone. You're going to just pick up the phone and dial somebody else. Or call that person back and actually sell them if, if you're these two, okay? All right, because if, if, if and say it with me, if, if, if we don't listen to our feelings, if we don't, then we get... Freedom, residual income, freedom, boss, right? All that stuff. Okay. So, if, and, if, and if we start to listen to our feelings, then we really don't want to be successful, do we? If you listen to your feelings when you don't want to, guess what you're saying? I just kind of want it. I don't really want it, right? Ronald really wants it. He's the only one store. We got a couple stories in their hand. Now you can raise, you can put them down, but, but I love it. And he's like, I am never putting it down again. Okay. All right. Next one. What is this one? Early riser. Early riser. Ooh. 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 
I thought I wanted it. <laughs> so if we, if we what? If we rise early, we get. Leave a legacy, help people, make a lot of money, residual income, freedom, be your own boss, build an empire, and go on trips and bonuses. Does it get much better than that? This is, is this hard or is this? Is it just, and if you don't wake up early, you are choosing to not be successful, right? You just kind of want it, okay? And I know you, you guys all want it, okay? Next one. What is this one? <laughs> oh, was it the same? Was it similar? Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, so this one. Routine, right? Who's going to develop a good daily routine from now on? If you do and you stay consistent with it, guess what? Legacy, money, help people, residual income, freedom, be your own boss, empire, trips, and bonuses. And if we don't actually have a daily routine from now on, we are choosing not to be successful. You just, we just kind of want it. Come on, Ronald. We just, we, right? But you know what? Success isn't for everyone either, okay? Last, one, uh, last two, consistency and resilience. Consistency and Consistency and? Resilience. Consistency and? Resilience. Okay, and if we choose to be consistent and resilient, then we get to leave a legacy, make a lot of money, help people, residual income, freedom. Say it with me, freedom. Okay, be your own boss, build an empire, and go on trips and bonuses. And if we don't, Dude, we don't want it. We don't want it. We don't want it. Who wants it? Who wants it? Who actually wants it? I want it bad. Okay, good. Good, good, good. So, success habits. Here's what you get by being in the insurance industry. And the thing is, anyone can actually have it. Right? Like, I can't, I, I, I played college basketball. I'm a good ball player. I, I'm fast, I can dribble, can't shoot a lick. I cannot play in the NBA. I'm not Chris Paul, right? But I can be successful. I can beat Grant Dockerty in golf, right? But he can be successful though. Ha ha ha. Actually, I don't know that I can beat him in golf, but I'm speaking that existence as he says, right? That's right, dude. That's right. right. Hey, when you walk into my office, it's when you walk into the, the front door of our office, it says think big on the wall. And that's one thing that successful people did along the way. They thought big. They dreamed big. When nobody believed in them, they believed in themselves. You want it yet? Dude, I want it, man. I want it. You guys want it? You guys want it? You guys want it? Come on now. Hey, you love this video and you want some brain food? I got five books that every new insurance agent should read. Go watch that. Grab the books. See you over there. When you read a book, when you go to an event, when you listen to a book, when you go to a mastermind, when you buy a university, when you do these different things, okay, when you have a coach, whatever. If you don't have a coach, gosh, darn it. You need